Hey everybody. Yeah, it's uh, Wednesday afternoon, probably about 3 o'clock. Um, 40 ish degrees out here, a little breezy. Typical uh, fall, almost November day. Um, nice day though, it's nice and sunny, so it's that time of year. Cool days, cold nights, winter's coming. Time to start thinking about those porters and stouts. So I'm going to do another one that um, my friend uh, and subscriber Robert uh, from California sent me. I'm going to do the Bayhawk, Bayhawk Ales Chocolate Porter Ale. They're from Irvine, California. I did find their website. It says, and uh, well, they talk about their stare shareholders and stuff not much of a website really but it says Bayhawk specializes in brewing house beers for many fine restaurants and taverns throughout California Arizona Nevada Oregon and Washington we just might be the greatest beer you never knew you drank that's apparently their slogan or something and it says Bayhawk Ales recently claimed a bronze medal in the 2012 World Beer Cup um, Bayhawk was awarded a bronze in the Brown Porter beer style category for its chocolate porter, a medium bodied yet complex, yet complex that tastes of sweet, semi-sweet dark chocolate and French roasted coffee. Bay, Bayhawk Ales is a 12,000 barrel craft brewery located in Irvine, California, USA that specializes in easy drinking craft beers. Bayhawk has entered this competition four times and won three medals, including gold. It said we're proud to win a World Beer Cup medal, said Carl Zappa, president of Bayhawk Ales. Now the website says this is 6.7% ABV and uh, 23 IBUs. The bottle says it's 5.4 quotation marks ABV. So I'll go with the 5.4 because that's what's on the bottle. I don't know what they're what they're thinking, but uh, anyway, just a plain, plain gold cap. Nothing special. I got plenty of plain gold caps. So let me get this uh, chocolate porter in a in a glass and see what we have. Not getting a well. There's a pretty decent head. We got a nice, almost black. Got some ruby tinges around the edges. Um, opaque beer. Um, dark brown mostly, almost black. Got a got a finger of a nice uh, khaki, um, light tan head. Nice looking, decent looking for a porter. So let me get a nose on this. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of chocolate. Some really weak, weak uh, dark malt. Some um, almost like a stale cream. Uh, There is some chocolate malt in it, a slight roasted malt. Maybe just a hint of some some fruit, almost like a red grape or something. Seems to be a slight metallic odor in there, but uh, not, still not too bad. Not a not a really strong smelling beer, but it is a porter, not a stout. So there's maybe just a. A hint of coffee in there, but the the, the aromas are light, that's for sure. Um, so let me get a taste on this. Okay, I'm getting yeah, it's sweet chocolate. Um, again, there's that light, lightly metallic um, taste. Not not really off-putting. Um, Here's a like a bitter roasted malt um, background in there, um, and a hint of just a like a the chocolate's weak. It's not a real strong chocolate, that's for sure. There's a little sourness to it, primarily on the finish. Seems a uh, not really strong for a porter, especially for a chocolate porter, but um, it's got some. Feels fairly light in a mouthfeel too. Um, uh, a little light for a porter. I know it's not a stout, but um, I like my porters a little heavier than this. But the uh, carbonation is 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 light also. So uh, 
light to go with the flavors, I guess. And uh, so, there's almost a, I'm getting a hint of that metallic. It's almost, well, not metallic. It's almost like a, a vinegar-like taste in there. But not really strong yet. So, let me sit. Let this warm up just a bit, as much as it will in this 40-some degree weather. And uh, be back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's been like 20 minutes or so. I had a couple telephone calls and stuff like that. I had to take my mom to the hospital, my 81-year-old mom to the hospital today, or to the doctor's office today. So she called and gave me an update on her and that sort of thing. So she's been sitting out here, sitting in the sun, but um, like I said, it's 40. It's in the 40s, so it's not super warm. Didn't warm up a ton. Um, as, as, a, as it's warmed up, that, that metallic and slightly vinegary taste has gone away a little bit. I mean, it's not off-putting, but it's not really great. Um, thing, uh, this is not a bad tasting porter. It's just not a really, really great tasting porter. The For a chocolate porter, there's not a ton of chocolate in it. Um, You get that nice bitterness from the from the malts, um, from the roasted malts, and that roasted character, which is primarily what you get. Um, the The mouthfeel for me is 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 the thing on this. It's it's really thin for a porter. Like I said, I know it's not a stout; it's just a porter, so it's not going to be as thick and heavy as a stout. But this is really thin, even for a porter. So you know, it's light. It's a porter, but. It's not a particularly memorable one. It's got some flavor to it, um, but it doesn't really, not what I was expecting from a chocolate porter. Um, I was expecting some really depth and complexity, and I'm not getting any of that. Um, maybe they ought to just stick with their contract brewing and not put out things under their own name. Um, this is a barely average beer, so that's what I'm gonna, you know, a barely average porter, so that's what I'm gonna give it. A barely average grade. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give it five out of ten uh, for the Bayhawk Ales Chocolate Porter Ale uh, at 5.4 quotation marks alcohol volume. So five out of ten. Till next time, everybody. Cheers. Let's keep drinking good beer. Oh, and I did. Oh, one more thing. I did sign up for a. Friday evening, so it'll probably be up. Well, I have to work Saturday morning. It'll be up Saturday sometime. We've got a the local grocery store, the beer and wine section. They scheduled a beer tasting slash food pairing. Gonna have six courses, six rogue beers, or if um, you believe the first email and the the, the first menu that they put out, uh, rouge beers. Um, so I'm gonna be doing that Friday night. We got appetizer and then. You know, salad and soup and entree and the, the whole course, but it's going to be a six-course meal with six different uh, rogue beers. So, should be interesting. So, hope to get some good video out of that. I'll get that up probably Saturday sometime. Um, like I said, it's Friday night, and I work Saturday morning, so it'll take a while to uh, get it edited and get it up. This is leaving some nice lacing, but it's still. I mean, it's decent. It's drinkable. It's not a drain pour. Like I said, I've got it in the. I've got it capped up. It'll, you know, take it home. I'll finish it this evening. It's a drinkable beer. Definitely not a drain pour. So, cheers, everybody, and I hope everybody on the East Coast, everybody that was um, uh, exposed to Hurricane Sandy, is doing fine. I did get one uh, one comment from one of my. Uh, one of my subscribers that they had a lot of high winds and tree di trees down and everything. So I hope everybody's okay. I hope everybody made it through okay. Um, you know, the people are what's important. Property can be replaced, but people are what's important. So let's hope everybody's okay. Cheers to uh, to FEMA, to all the the workers that are going out there to help clean up the damage and. That's what that, that's what makes this uh, makes this country great. When when people when people are in trouble, 
Their neighbors rush to help. Cheers to everybody.